and Kevin gets them both. He's made four in a row and five out of six for the night. 31 19 to Paul in front. 7 24 to go first half. Never get it across. Barely made it. Into the corner it goes. Skerich is going to shoot one and hit it. Sam Skerich on the board for the first time tonight. The senior out of St. Cloud, Minnesota. 31 21. Well, with the injury to Fowler, he's the only one that's really got a lot of experience. And Terry Davis answers back for DePaul. Six points for Davis tonight. Taylor will try it from 17 feet and get it. Scott Taylor, six points. Shooting percentage is going up. Doherty inside Holland. Back outside it goes. Tough shot ah, by Joe, but he nailed it anyway. Tough shot by Doherty. Two on two basketball over there in the corner. I talked to Joey Meyer for the game. He thought Illinois State had a better half court offense than full court. Still, Illinois State seems to want to push the ball up the floor. Well, Bob Bender's been very liberal in his substituting so far tonight. He's gotten a lot of guys in the game, and he's shuffling them in at a pretty quick rate. Three more Redbirds set to check in now. Richard Thomas over there. Uh, Reggie Wilson coming back, and so will Xavier Williams. As a player, you know, you really want to try to get warm and break a sweat out there, and then sometimes when you get moved in and out too quickly, you don't really get into rhythm, you don't get warm, and plus in, in a game like this, sometimes uh, you're always looking over your shoulder and you're worrying about making mistakes rather than making things happen, thinking you might get the hook. So you can substitute too much in a ball game, even though it keeps this kind of pace. You know, this time of year, guys should be in good shape. A good look at Antoine Hicks. One of the many Chicago products on this Illinois State roster. Free throw is good. Antoine 5'9", 162, junior out of St. Rita, where he played with Curtis Price in high school. Antoine one out of two before tonight's ball game. Not a lot of free throws for a quick small guard in three games. His old high school teammate pulled off the rebound for the Blue Demons. Illinois State back into a zone. Davis penetrate. Good looking jump shot by Terry Davis. Terry with eight points now, and the Blue Demons have called off the dogs a little bit with that trap. A lot of pressure still, though, half court. Trapping. Reggie Wilson gets inside and gets two more. Reggie Wilson with 10 in the game now. And ISU hanging tough, down by only 11, 37 26. We're down to five and a half to go in the first half. Illinois State doing a nice job against DePaul's half court press. The full court press is really what's giving them a lot of problems. David Booth was standing on the end line as he received that pass, and turnover goes back to Illinois State. Just a mental error that you should not commit. There's Richard Thomas in, Antoine Hicks out. Noel Von Foster and Stephen Howard will check in for the Blue Demons as Booth and Holland take a seat. This was that real small, quick lineup that Joey had in three or four minutes into the ball game that really kind of blew this from being a tie game to a 10 point spread. Thomas to Williams. Shot the pass inside. It's knocked away and stolen by DePaul. Up ahead it goes, stolen back by Illinois State. Shot on the way is short by Scott Taylor, but it was short because he was fouled on the play. Stephen Howard jumping out and earning himself another foul. It's two on Stephen in the game. And that will send Scott Taylor up to the free throw line for a couple. ISU two out of four at the line so far tonight, and Taylor will have two more. Taylor two out of two before coming into tonight's ball game and shooting the ball off the palm of his hand not the ideal way to shoot it but sometimes kids learn early how to shoot a certain way it's pretty tough to change it at this level you like to see that ball roll off the top of the fingertips you really get a lot of a lot better 
movement on the ball when you do that. He got that one. Seven points for Scott Taylor. Todd Wemhainer into the ball game again for Illinois State. DePaul really not having a lot of trouble with this zone defense so far tonight. Penetrating the seam often and getting some good 12, 15 foot jump shots. Haven't really had to go much to the wrong bombs. Now Davis has made a couple of real good step ins from out front. Down low, Price. Quick jumper, no good. Howard and a foul. Stephen Howard on the offensive board will get a chance at a three point play. Howard very good at going to the offensive board. And this is one of the weaknesses of his zone. You're really not with a man playing a man to man, so you really have no definite assignment on a guy to block out. And a lot of times you'll see players follow shots, miss shots against his own defense. Steven nails the free throw. 10 points for Howard in the game. 40 27 to Paul by 13. Great job against the press and Wilson free inside for the layup. Very nice job by Illinois State breaking down at full court press that time. Nary a dribble, John, and that's the way to do and it. And they really broke it down early, but took a couple of quick shots, traveled a couple of times, missed a couple of layups, and I think they got a little hesitant. Davis, tough jumper under pressure, won't go, and Taylor's got the rebound for the bird. ISU. Xavier Williams. Had it knocked away. Now ISU will reset the offense with 33 on the shot clock. Straight up man to man pressure by DePaul here. Shot clock down to 12. Plenty of time. Thomas going to have to take the shot. He does. And he swished it. With Terry Davis all over him, Richard Thomas scores his first points of the night. Howard in traffic on the baseline and all red shirts under the boards that time. Well, ISU was down 13, looking like they were in trouble, John, but all of a sudden it's nine again and they have the ball back. Well, they've done a nice job of keeping their composure, working the ball half court, probably getting to Paul a little answer defensively by pulling the ball out last time. Good tough shot there, though, by Richard Thomas. That was a tough, tough shot he shot. Mel Von Foster picks up the personal over there on the far sideline. Thomas will go to the free throw line. Curtis Price, Joe Doherty out. David Booth back on for DePaul here. Booth, Howard, Foster. Richard Chucky Murphy in there, and so is Kevin Holland. Richard Thomas, nine out of ten before tonight's game on the line. That was the tenth team foul, so two shots from here on in. The rest of the first half for Illinois State. Thomas, yeah, he's a good free throw shooter, John. He makes one of two, and we get timeout with 3.04 to go before halftime, and DePaul leading it. Foster, David Booth, Stephen Howard, Kevin Holland, Terry Davis, the starting lineup for DePaul. Richard Thomas, Skerich, Wilson, Flores, and Xavier Williams for Illinois State. Quickly inside, and David Booth with a dunk. Flores, and DePaul off to a quick start. Flores gambled defensively, really came on the backside of him. Should have come across the top if he was going to try to knock the ball away. Good pass in there, Booth on the dunk. Richard Thomas directing the ISU attack. This is Flores. Thomas, long one, nailed it for three. Richard Thomas now in double figures with 10. I'll have to say, Illinois State being 0-3, playing with a lot of confidence here tonight in Rosemont. Terry Davis will pull up and hit it. Terry Davis. Nice screen by Holland. That's off a semi break. That's a nice play. That's before the defense really gets real set. You can come down the floor, run a guard off a screen, get good shots. Garrett finds some room on the baseline, then has a block from behind by Terry Davis, and that's a jump ball. Good helping defense by Terry Davis, and Illinois State will have possession on the alternate rule. And here's another look at the block. Coming across. 
I think when the whistle was blown, Davis thought it was going to be a foul. Kind of had a grimace on his face. Reggie Wilson gets free on the out of bounds play, and Wilson with 14 points now. ISU hanging in there, down by only eight. Howard on the floor, now back outside the booth. And Paul resets with Terry Davis out front. Here's Howard. Three point try. Short. Foster rebounds. Here's Booth. Not a good shot by Stephen Howard that time. And now Howard. A little bit out of his range, maybe too, John, but he knocked it down. Well, Stephen Howard hit one of those in the first half, but he was setting out there for a long time. That time he had just stepped back out, really wasn't set, came up a little short, but Holland got the two. Xavier Williams over Holland, and he made it. Xavier Williams with nine points in the game. Joey Meyer pacing the sidelines, not very happy at all with the Paul's defense. Strong move inside by Howard, but he shot it too hard. Somebody got a hand on the rim now. Good hustle by moved. Holland. Yeah, look at ISU come out of there with it. Richard Thomas taking it all the way. And he's fouled on the play. Melvon Foster is going to get it. And not too thrilled about it either. Get a chance to look at some of the first half numbers and show you that shooting, John. 63 for the Redbirds. Well, a lot of layups. They broke the press, got a lot of layups. Of course, Wilson on the good end of a lot of that, a lot of those passes. Held their own on the boards as well. Just a five-point edge for the Blue Demons. Flores takes the seat. Scott Taylor back on for Illinois State and Richard Thomas at the free throw line. Richard Thomas makes the first. This is as close as Illinois State has been in a long time. Chance to cut it to six with a good free throw here. Short, ball loose. Holland has it. Illinois State continues to change defenses, this time in a man-to-man. -man. Traditionally, that's what they like to play, a lot of pressure. DePaul's done a good job reacting. Here's a steal by Thomas, took it right away from Booth, and he's got the two. Richard Thomas, six points already in the second half. It's 53-48, and here comes Illinois State. David Booth, again, a mental error, fell asleep on that play, looking around. Another bad pass. And a Good bad play. one right back. Good recovery by Foster. He made the bad pass, didn't hang his head, and tipped the ball away to DePaul to get it back. A big turnover for Illinois State. Redbirds had a breakaway layup and couldn't get the ball down there. And Davis to the glass draws the personal foul. Right, well, there's Doherty now. I was just getting ready to say, I thought <laughs> you'd see him fairly quickly. Booth with the ball out front. On this play, looked like he was looking around, and boom, you fell asleep. And there was Richard Thomas in there, and Richard Thomas did a nice job. Look at the way he kind of waits to make sure he sees where Booth is, throws him off step a little bit, and then lays it up so Booth can't block it. Richard Thomas will take a seat. Sam Skerich out of the game for Illinois State as well. Wim Hainer is back in, Antoine Hicks back in, and Terry Davis hits the first free throw. Davis seven for eight from the line before tonight's ball game. That's 87 percent. Real good DePaul free throw shooting team so far this year. He missed that one, but we get a whistle. Lane violation on DePaul, so it wouldn't have counted anyway. 54, 48. You know, as a player, I always thought that the guy who went in the lane should get the missed free throw, not the guy who took the free throw. <laughs> Give it to him, not me. I didn't make the mistake. That's right, his fault anyway. Wemhainer up against Holland. Now the Redbirds reset it. A basket here would pull them to within four points. Or three. Or three. Where it comes from. Taylor had it knocked away and out of bounds to Illinois State. Good aggressive play, though, by Scott Taylor. Took it right to the basket. Terry Davis again on a nice defensive play coming from behind. Knocking that ball away and it went out of bounds. And Illinois State continues to play with a lot of confidence. The freshman Wemhamer will throw it in. Williams, tough jump shot right over Holland. Xavier Williams with 11, 54-50. 
Did I notice the Illinois State grad come out on you on that play? <laughs> We are totally impartial oh, okay. tonight, okay. John. David Booth headed for the free throw line. You know, somebody asked me how much different were things at Illinois State now than they were when I played down there. Well, I, we played in the old building, Horton Fieldhouse. Where they nobody shouldn't won. Yeah. They shouldn't ask me anyway. I told them my first collegiate point was a banked-in free throw. <laughs> <laughs> One of few. Port Illinois State with a fine tradition down there and ex Bulls coach Doug Collins came out of there and he's in the crowd tonight by the way watching the Redbirds play. Booth missed the first one. Of course we mentioned early Scott Fowler who they expected a lot out of at forward injured his knee right before the first ball game fairly substantially and of course that's a physical blow to a club but also a mental blow and could have been one of the problems that they had adjusting without him and looks like so far tonight they've adjusted pretty well. Hicks. Ball fake threw it up there wouldn't go tip no rebound to Paul. Curtis Price hauled it out of there and here comes Doherty with it. Cross court pass boot. ISU got back well on defense and Paul has to set it up. Howard set didn't take it. Booth spinning on the baseline for two. David Booth. Good ball movement by DePaul. Hicks in a world of trouble on the sideline and he is fouled on the play. Antoine Hicks was doubled and in big trouble over there but the reach in foul on DePaul bails him out. That may have been a foul because it was by <laughs> Illinois State fans. What do you think? Bob Bender working hard over there, and so is Joey Meyer. Timeout on the floor, 57-50. DePaul in front. Once again, first year The shot never got to the glass, but David Booth will go to the free throw line, and he'll have two shots. A little 360 without leaving your feet. David Booth on a nice spin movie. Comes out of there with this ball. Four or five guys hit it. Gets the defense coming across in front of him. Good spin move. And... Of course, Wilson comes in here to knock the ball away, so it won't get to the basket, but Booth will shoot two free throws. Booth was just at the free throw line and made one out of two. And he missed another one. Some numbers on David Booth, and another one is 76% free throw shooter. Not performing up to that standard so far tonight. But he made that one. And it falls back out to an eight point lead. Looked like they pressured real tight man to man on the out of bounds and then kind of dropped back. At least Booth did. Maybe Joey's playing for a run here, John. They haven't really used the trap that was so successful in the first half in a couple of stretches. Maybe they're going to wait, make a couple of baskets, and then try to lay it on him again. Well, what happens if you don't get that run? Well, yeah, then you got a problem. Shot clock down to 15. This is Williams. DePaul playing a lot of overplay half court, and you got to have a lot of help defensively on a weak side to do this because you'll have a tendency to get backdoor just a little bit. Shot clock to five, four. Thomas has to shoot it. He shot an air ball, but DePaul knocked it out of bounds and a fresh 45 for the Redbirds. What'll happen sometimes when you get an air ball? Is you, you, you'll go up thinking the ball is going to hit the rim like Price did, and it doesn't, and all of a sudden you're not ready to catch it. That's what happened there. Curtis lost it out of bounds. Vandegaard off the back iron and out of bounds to DePaul. A couple of the Redbirds with a hand on that one. No pressure, full court at all so far by Illinois State. Not wanting to playing into DePaul's hands. Again, it's dropped back into his zone. One hander out the matchup of Davis on top. Terry puts it on the floor, has it knocked away, and a foul called on Richard Thomas. DePaul with two three pointers in the first half. One of them from Murphy, who we have not seen so far here in the second half, and the other one from Stephen Howard. Of course, the normal three-point shooter, Brad Neiman, 
out with a back injury and it could be indefinite because it hurt him on uh, in the Pepperdine game on the way home from the California on the airplane and, and had, has not got any better. And Neiman, of course, the three-point shooter can break up his zone very quickly. Terry Davis makes the free throw. Joey Meyer looks uh, awful dapper there tonight. Looks like uh, he went somewhere, somewhere to get him some new threads. <laughs> I know he had to take his wife with him. He couldn't pick him out. <laughs> you keep that up. He may not do those halftime <laughs> shows with you anymore. Well, if he's going to look that dapper, I don't <laughs> want him to. You're going to have to get some new clothes, yeah. huh? Todd Kegel just into the game for Illinois State out front. Now Xavier Williams. They're looking inside. Kegel breaks free, bounce pass, jump shot by Wilson. Good. Longest shot we've seen Reggie Wilson take all night, John, and he knocked it down. Good patience by Illinois State. DePaul got caught in the overplay trying to play the passing lane. They didn't hurry it and got the good shot. Wilson has 16 for the game. Booth was open, now pulls up. Missed the shot. Bodies hitting the deck all over the place, and the ball is out of bounds to ISU. Kevin Holland complaining that Vandergaard pulled him down. Look, Look at out. this. Ball asleep. DePaul sound asleep and let Reggie Wilson get behind the defense for the dunk. It's 59 54. Looked like they were all standing around. Joey complaining to the official, kind of watching that. And Referee handed the ball into Vandergaard, and that was it. Boom. Bad dunk. looking pass, was it? No. And another steal by the Redbirds. Here comes Thomas. Kegel. Vandegaard's got one for three, and he nailed it. Timeout. Vandegaard, the three point play, and Joey Meyer wants timeout. Illinois State on the move with 12.46 to play in the game. It's DePaul 59 and Illinois State 57. 59 57. Bob Bender working hard on the ISU bench. The hard work is paying off. Boy, these guys are shooting the lights out, John. 67% for the game and 7 out of 10 so far in the second half. Very confident. You can tell by looking in their eyes that they are a confident ball club. Howard back outside of Doherty who traveled and got away with one, but he missed the shot anyway. And here comes Richard Thomas. Illinois State with a chance to tie. Williams will put it up and he nailed it. We are dead even at 59. Joey needs to get some movement out of his club offensively. A lot of momentum right now with Illinois State. They got to be very careful. Booth on the push was fouled from behind and David Booth. Fifth team foul on the Redbirds, two on default. Some NBA scores and Ooh, those trailblazers at the stadium tonight, leading the Bulls by 12 in the second quarter. Portland right now with the second best start in the history of the league. 17 and one. Boot free on the baseline. He is fouled and will go to the free throw line again. Now 16 fouls on the Redbirds and a long way to go here. Almost 12 minutes. Of course, seven means the one plus the one and then 10 of course the new rule means an automatic two shots that rule put in to make sure that uh, not a lot of unnecessary fouling at the end of a ball game and DePaul not going to the free throw line I like you Dan thought that was a shooting foul for sure Howard couldn't get it ball loose Illinois State with it the Redbirds could take the lead Vandegaard. Kegel almost threw it away. Here's Thomas. Well, it's been Vandegaard and Thomas there. I think it really brought him back into this ball game. Thomas puts it up. He did not make it. Rebound loose. Chucky Murphy's got it for the call. Yeah, the ball. The ball is a little bit hesitant. More so than they were in the first half. Pulling out. They were going at the basket very strong. Ooh, sealed off on the baseline. Terry Davis fading away. Tip won't go by Price, and we get a jump ball. That one should go to DePaul. Price very active. Trying to instill some fire in his teammates. 
Right now, Illinois State with a lot of momentum. Reggie Wilson back on for the Redbirds. Xavier Williams will take a seat. 11.07 to play. It's tied up at 59. ISU in the zone. Terry Davis may try to shoot him out of it. Paul again looking for the lob on that play to Booth. Didn't get it. Murphy ball fake and a long jump shot is good for three. Well, Murphy starting the same way he did in the first half with a three pointer. Almost nine minutes into the second half before we saw Chucky Murphy. Cagle picked up his dribble and he's got a problem. Now gets it to Wilson way out front. Unfamiliar territory for Reggie Wilson. DePaul playing a very aggressive defense and can do so with only two team fouls halfway through the second half. Terry Davis and Richard Thomas right in front of us. Terry said, bring it on in. Shot clock down to 12. Cagle way out front. ISU needs to get a bucket. Needs to get a shot up. Cagle's going to take it. And he drained it for three. Todd Cagle, his first shot of the night. Ties the game right back up at 62. And he's fired up. That was by design, not by DePaul defense. Illinois State just simply pulled the ball back out, wanted to fool around with it. I thought they were in real trouble. Chucky Murphy slipped on the Cagle move, and Cagle was wide open. And you talk about a confidence building shot. That'll really put a charge into ISU. Foster in trouble. Run down over here on the left side by Chucky Murphy. Price, Davis, Howard down low. Strong up and in. Good pass. Stephen Howard. Davis. Yeah, it was, John. And that's the first basket by Howard in the second half. 17 for the game now. 64 62. Reggie Wilson, Richard Thomas, the two big guns for Illinois State working on the right side. Vandegaard. Cagle with Terry Davis. Cross court, Taylor, the freshman. Well, Price and Howard got confused defensively. Howard's supposed to go out and pick him up. Curtis Price telling him right now. ISU has an answer for everything that Paul throws at him right now. Foster rising in the lane, but it won't go, and Illinois State has the rebound. ISU shooting for the lead. A screen away from the ball. Taylor open again. He lost it, had it knocked away and stolen by Curtis Price. Great piece of defensive work by Curtis Price. And now, Stephen Howard is knocked to the floor and a foul is called on Illinois State. Now, well, see been a gets pay, this foul. Payback for earlier in the ball game, baby. That'll be the one and one now because it is the seventh foul. And the problem with a foul like that is that it puts you closer to that 10 fouls. It's going to give you two shots for every foul. New blood for the Redbirds. Xavier Williams into the game. Antoine Hicks, Thomas, and Vandegaard sit down. And David Boot back on for DePaul. Stephen, Stephen Howard, a 75 to 80 percent free throw shooter consistently year to year. And when you're clashing under those boards, it's good to be a good free throw shooter because when you get in the bonus, you're going to get a lot of free throws. Stephen Howard nails the first, and on the glass is where Stephen Howard may be showing his greatest improvement, John. Well, he also gets a lot of points off the boards, and, you know, a big guy knows when he hustles in there. Stephen's a smart player, and he knows how to use his body down low. Positioning the most important asset in a rebounder. There's a pass knocked out of bounds off the glass. Illinois State will have it. Here's the full court pressure we haven't seen much of in the second half by DePaul. They said diamond and one. They'll trap. Reverse the ball in the middle. Good passing by the Redbirds. Taylor 
Going on in. Finger roll and a foul by Stephen Howard. Talking about one aggressive freshman, John Mengelt, right there in Scott Taylor. You're absolutely right. He takes it right at Stephen Howard here on the press and hesitates. Watch Stephen Howard relax. Boom. He hesitates. Stephen Howard did a nice job initially, then relaxed, and Taylor took it to the basket on him. Taylor has 11 in the game. Make it 12. Six seven freshman from Newton Massachusetts. He got them both and we are tied again. Eight minutes exactly to go. Sixty six all. ISU zoning. Murphy will try the long one. Chuck Murphy. Murphy. Two three pointers in a row. And right now, Chucky's given to Paul Life. And there's the turnover. The Paul pressure and the pass was too tall for Scott Taylor. We've got a timeout called with 7.34 to go. The Paul clinging to a three point lead, and we'll be back. Biggest lead in a long time. Backdoor cut, they missed Taylor. Wilson has it out front. There he is. On the floor, hesitation. Ball was deflected, and Howard rips it out of there for the ball. Here come the Blue Demons. They will back it off and set the offense. Boot. Hesitation, no good. Screaming for fouls in there, but nothing doing. Richard Thomas. He is clobbered by Kevin Holland from behind, and Richard Thomas will have two free throws. Nice pick down there by Stephen Howard for Booth. Booth's got to learn to take that ball all the way to the basket. Take it on in and dunk up, it. Hesitating up there and shooting a little shuffle jumper. Illinois State didn't hesitate, put the pressure on him, brought the ball down the floor, and Thomas got fouled. He'll go to the line. That's the fourth team foul on the Blue Demons. Rattles out. Thomas coming into the ball game tonight was nine out of ten. He had a miss or two in the first half and one there, two there. Struggling tonight from the free throw line. Only two for six, John, and those two hurt. 71-66 to Paul with the lead and the basketball. Thomas with Davis. Well, what was impressed me there is he made a mistake and then recovered on it. Long cross-court pass. Davis tracks it down. The shot clock under 30. 6.20 to play in the game. Illinois State in some pressure. And Joey Myers, Demons trying to spread him out just a little bit, maybe to get a back door. Howard's open for the pass. The dish to Murphy, cutting for the basket. Hey, oldest playing the book, a little give and go, and nice look from Stephen Howard to Chucky Murphy for the layup. Chucky Murphy with 11 now. 73-66. Here's right now where Illinois State has to score. They have to keep their composure, get a good shot. Wim Hayner for three. Nope. Wilson had it, lost it, out of bounds to the Blue Demon. The shots that were going down, John, for the Redbirds a couple of minutes ago are not going down now. I don't know if that was the best shot to get when you just had a, a run of seven points on you. But listen, when you get late in the game, the legs tend to get tired. When the legs go, believe it or not, that jumper goes. Davis on the cut, rising up and scoring again. I think Illinois State may need a timeout here to talk things over just a little bit. Vandegaard for three. Nope. Wilson way up for the rebound and the foul called on Stephen Howard. Now, I don't think that's a very good call. I believe a foul was made, but I think it was on Davis. Howard on the inside, that's his fourth foul. But Davis comes over the top here and really causes the foul. 
Here's the shot again, a quick three-point shot. You gotta, when somebody's making a run at you, you gotta get good shots. Howard up. Hmm. Might have called that one either way. Yeah, you could have called that either way. You're right. Howard may have jumped just a little bit back into Wilson, but uh, that call could have gone either way. Well, they tried to lob it into Wilson again. Not, not going to happen there. Slapped back in the backcourt, and here comes ISU. Just the fifth team foul there on DePaul, so Looks ISU like not yet in the bonus. There's a reach in. Murphy's got him. Now a scramble. Murphy, Thomas, and a foul on Murphy. No, I mean Thomas. Make it Thomas. One and one coming up for Chucky Murphy. Well, Chucky Murphy with three three-point plays. Going to play pickpocket here. Nice job. You need a handle on it. Somebody needs to put a handle. I got it. No. That's it. Get it. Well, hmm. Bounced off four hands and two feet. And finally, Richard Thomas was called for the personal foul. Chucky Murphy to the line. Chucky Murphy has been a real spark plug for the call here off the bench in the second half. We've got a timeout called by Bob Bender with 4.49 to go, and DePaul leading by 9, 75 66. Going to get fancy with the basketball. You want to really use it to your advantage and, and not really to maintain, and that's really what Thomas did there. He really wasn't going to the basket or doing anything. Chucky Murphy with the quick hands got the ball and resulted in a Thomas foul. Murphy to the line to shoot one in a bonus. The free throw is good. Chucky had a big night against Florida International and has done a great job off the bench tonight. Well, he played the second 10 minutes in the first half, most of it, and then the second 10 here, maybe if he goes all the way. Williams faked the pass, shot it in. Xavier Williams. The ball, despite the 11 point lead, continues to press. Now it's down to nine on a nice uh, job again by Illinois State breaking the press. You may see Joy not pull the ball out, but. To work for real good solid shots. That wasn't one of them. Jump hook on the baseline by Booth. ISU has the rebound of Reggie Wilson. Yeah, you're right, Dan. Not a good shot. You want to get open jump shots, you want to get solid uh, layups. Rebound and in. Reggie Wilson will have a chance for three. The long three pointer by Vandegaard was short, but Wilson had hustled all the way down the floor to get the rebound, and he'll have a chance at a three point play. You know, the mistakes that Paul's made tonight have been more mental than any other. Of course, that ball was a pretty tough rebound. The ball had pretty good position on that rebound, except for when you're playing a man to man, you want to find your man and box him out, not give him an avenue to the basket. Stephen Howard checks in. Howard with four personal fouls, and Curtis Price takes a seat. Reggie Wilson, 20 points in the game, shooting for 21. No good and not much spring in the legs of the Redbirds there trying for the rebound. 77-70. Down under four minutes left. Backdoor cut Davis. Looked inside. Howard got it. Good look by Davis. He knew immediately Howard's man had come to him. From practice, he knew exactly where Howard would be. Nice play by DePaul. Howard now with 23. Getting late for Illinois State. Good entry pass inside. Shot blocked. Wilson's going back to the free throw line. Now, who did they get here? Look like they got Booth, maybe. Yep, David Booth. Booth coming across uh, weak side help. His third, the team seventh. On that play. Nice pick and roll nice there. Between Thomas and Wilson. Booth coming across to help got the foul. Reggie's free throw is no good. He's missed two in a row. 0 for 3 for the game. ISU only three out of eight in the second half. He missed them both, and Davis has it for the Blue Demons. Well, Davis trying to get his position. There's a, there's a foul on Terry Davis. Well, now that's a bad call right oh. there. That's a terrible call. I have to agree with you, John. I mean, there is absolutely, he can't, he, the referee comes all the way across the floor, calls a double foul, a double foul. when Wehrmeyer fires Davis, and that's not a, a, that's just not a good play. Davis maybe should have been called for traveling early down here when he swung his elbows. 
that was a wrong call. That should definitely have been a foul on Terry Davis and maybe even a, an intentional foul call. He just threw the elbow at him. See if we can see it here on a replay. Right there. And there's the official coming from this side to make the call. But the alternate possession goes to Illinois State. Redbirds down nine, 325 to play. I don't understand why they don't call the first foul. Then a guy retaliates and they call it back. Wemhater, Vandegaard. Inside it goes to Williams. Boy, what a nice soft jump shot that yeah, he is. does. Good ball movement by Illinois State. Seven. They're hanging close. 17 points for Xavier Williams in the game. 79-72. Davis, Chucky Murphy. Yes, sir. And this time, another off the ball foul from Lem Hader and Davis yeah. hooked up again. Well, there's a lot of bumping going on out there in this game. <laughs> Guys walking around bumping. I mean, it's just foolish to do those kinds of things. Chucky Murphy on another nice three pointer with a hand right in his face. Let's look under the basket. There it is. Wayhammer trying to get position. Looks like on a rebound. There'll be a one plus a one. You can have another five point play here. Could prove to be devastating for Illinois State at this point in the game. A tough, tough call against Bob Bender and company. Booth made the free throw. You know what's what's very interesting in this ball game, as you see the bull score flashed up on the screen there, is that I think this game's been a pretty well played game physically. I've seen a lot of mental errors in this ball game, just like the one made there, the one by Davis at this end. And you know it's early in the year, but you got to cut that stuff out if you're going to be a real contender this year. Well, it's the time of the season for learning. Melvin Foster into the game, and David Booth has a seat. Eighty four seventy two five point play that trip for the Paul. There's a couple of those tonight. The first one coming on Bob Bender's technical foul early in the ballgame. Vandegaard shooting for three. No good. He was knocked to the floor. No call. And now we get a foul on Scott Taylor as Taylor and Holland were wrapped up going for the rebound. Scott Taylor, Taylor now with four personal fouls. Vandegaard over to talk to Bob Bender. He'll take a seat. Sam Skerich, John, is in for Illinois State. He's a three point shooter, too. Hicks also into the game. Reggie Wilson back at the table now for Illinois State. He'll come in. Illinois State's 10th foul, of course, now that moves immediately into the two shot area. Each foul after the 10th foul. This year in the NCAA awards two shots. That's a new rule this year. What do you think of that one? <laughs> well, I, you know, silence. They're, they're going to take a little, little bit of, you know, they're taking, a, they're taking some pressure off the referees is what they're doing. I think they thought they were getting a lot of intentional fouls, thought that there should have been the two shot foul cost. I think that it's going to be uh, make a big, big difference, especially in the second half of how teams play defense early in the second half because you don't want to find yourself in that position at the end of a close ball game. Thomas had it stripped a battle for the ball and Stephen Howard has fouled out of the game. Stephen Howard picks up personal foul number five and he'll be headed for the bench in a moment. Richard Thomas to the free throw line for Illinois State. And here's a second look at a scramble for a loose ball right in the middle of the floor. I think Thomas felt he got fouled a couple times here before it happened and looked like a loose ball and a couple guys trying to go for it there. But Stephen Howard picks up his fifth. He'll go to the bench. And Joey will go with three guards really in Foster, Murphy, and Davis. His best defensive player and rebounder, probably his two best defensive players, big guys, uh, Price and Holland. Richard Thomas makes that free throw. Thomas had missed three in a row. That one brings the Redbirds to within 12, a 2.17 to go.
Flanked out of there and the rebound of Price. ISU trying to pressure all over the floor. The ball would be content here, John, to run some clock. Backdoor cut Foster. Holland, he's got it. No, it did not go. She wouldn't stay soon. down for him. Sure did. Came across to the backside and good movement there by DePaul. Just didn't get the ball to go down. They finally blocked one of Williams' shots. Curtis Price got a hand on it. And now it's in the hands of Chucky Murphy. And Chucky's fouled by Antoine Hicks. Two free throws coming up for Chucky Murphy. Chucky Murphy doing a nice job here in the second half as we watch the pass to Williams, who's played a fine ball game, and Curtis Price, of course, a great leaper and a quick leaper up there to block that shot. Chucky Murphy, 13 points off the bench in the second half, 16 for the game. That includes four three-point shots. And in and at the right spots. So DePaul very slow to get off in the second half offensively, and Murphy came in the ball game, hit a three-pointer, hit another one, made a steal, hit a couple free throws, and got him at real opportune times when the Blue Demons needed it. 87-73. Time ticking down on Illinois State. Thomas for three. Still firing. No good. Here comes Murphy, and it looks like the Blue Demons will have this one. Price knocked to the floor. Loose ball picked up by Davis, and Curtis Price is banged up a little bit. Well, he hurt his elbow because he didn't want to fall on his wrist. <laughs> that wasn't about to stop him from making the block on the Reggie Wilson shot, however. Of course, Curtis Price has a bad wrist, and you see him holding his elbow, and I, the tendency would be to, to make sure you don't land on that wrist, that you come down on something other than that wrist, and that's really what he did there. I was afraid for a moment that he had done that, the grimace that was on his face, but came up holding the elbow, and he's okay. In the meantime, Reggie Wilson back to the free throw line, and... It's been a tough spot for him so far tonight. He's 0 for 4. He'll have two. And he's 0 for 5. I've said over and over again, this is a very difficult place to shoot free throws in if you're not used to it. The death perception at the end of the court really runs way far back, as you can see there, looking to the other end. Most arenas, it's closer up. That's a tough shot when you're not used to it. He was able to get one of the two to go down. Flores into the game now for Illinois State, and Wilson takes a seat. Wilson has played a good game tonight for Bob Bender. 21 points. Illinois State picking up full court. Of course, now they must, trailing by 15 points with a minute to go. Allen will pull it out, looking for some help, and he is fouled. Xavier Williams picks it up. That's a freshman foul. He had Holland in a lot of trouble. Nowhere to go with the ball. Not anybody moving very much. And I think Holland was about to travel or get the five-second call. And Williams bailed him out with a young mistake. But playing a nice ball game. Holland rolls it around and in. All looks the same the next day. <laughs> no matter how they go in, right? But he swishes this one. Twelve points for Kevin Holland. ISU down low it goes. Price hammered it off the board, and Curtis will pick up the foul. Curtis working on his shot blocking a little bit. He can leap. <laughs> talking about a guy hurting his wrist. He'd be more likely to hurt it slamming it off the glass than he would fall into the floor on the other end. Let's see if Curtis got him with the body on this one. Good look by Wemhainer. That's inside. right. Nice look. Up. Mm-hmm. You call it. You got a whistle. I don't. <laughs> Elvin Flores on the board for the first time tonight. Got them both. 91-76. The ball headed for its fourth win in a row as Murphy takes it all the way. The exclamation point on a great night for Chucky Murphy. 
Thomas putting on a dribbling exhibition, fires it up and in. That's a two. That's a tough shot, too. You better believe it. Melvon Foster right in his face. Here's Chucky. Now Terry Davis. The shot clock is off. DePaul does not need to put it up again. And we'll have some more free throw shot, however. Price back to the free throw line as Flores fouls in. Nice ball game. He's seven out of ten. And Joy Meyer must have done something in this preseason, sprinkled a little good luck dust on these guys or something because the last over the last two years this team has improved its free throw percentage almost 13 percent. That's a pretty good looking free throw there by Curtis Price. Ball knocked into the air Murphy's got it. His three. I can't believe he missed it. Battle for the rebound Price fouled again and he'll go back to the line with 3.6 seconds to play in the game. I can't believe he took it. I don't think he knew how much time was left. You know, sometimes you look up at the clock and there's like 10 seconds and a and the scramble goes on like that, and you really lose concept of how much time really has gone off. And he just kind of winged that one up there, and everybody's laughing about it right now. Let me ask you a question. You've made four three-point shots in a row. Oh, you can't do anything wrong. <laughs> I mean, you know, nobody's gonna say anything to you. You're not even thinking about no. not shooting that shot. Especially if you think time's going out. It was a pretty, it was pretty far out, a little bit more than he had to be. And put it up very quickly, but uh, they're having fun now. That's all they care about. Picks downs it on the floor, and the ball game is over. An entertaining ball game it has been, too. Joey Meyer shaking hands with the ISU coaching staff, Billy King, the former Duke star. And Joey racks up victory number four. The final score tonight at the Rosemont Horizon DePaul 96, Illinois State 78. Back with more from the Rosemont Horizon in a moment.